Hello Space Engineers, welcome to this three minute tutorial. Today having a quick look at the different types of transmitters. Now we'll be having a look at the beacons and also the beacon function that is inside the antennas as well as looking at the antennas themselves. We won't be looking at the big dish, that's just a decorative version of the regular antennas, but we will be having a very quick look at the laser antennas, which will also end up being in a separate tutorial. So let's head down to the lake bed where I've set up a little demonstration. Now if we go into the toolbar configuration, if we find the antenna group, that contains all the different types of transmitters in there. The decorative antenna, the beacon and the laser antenna. Now I'll jump into this control seat and we'll do some basic settings. The beacon and the antennas are by default set to 5000 meters and they can go up to a maximum of 50,000 meters. At the 5000 meters this beacon is using 2 kilowatts of power whereas in the antenna the same distance is using 20 kilowatts of power so 10 times more power hungry. Now to demonstrate the signals I'm just reducing their radius quite significantly of both the beacon and the antenna. The other thing I'm going to do is go into the info tab and select the show antenna range option and what that will do is we'll put a shaded area around the range of the antenna. Now in order to see these signals I need to make them visible on my HUD by pressing the H key and I can press it again to cycle through full names, no names and off. Now pulling back as we get out of the antenna's 25 meter range we lose its signal and further back 50 meters we lose the beacon. Now my suit has an antenna built into it, it has a 200 meter range and that's how I'm able to access this terminal without actually going through a control panel. I can reduce the power consumption on my suit by disabling the transmitter by pressing the O key as indicated on the HUD. Now if I go back into the antenna menu I can see the antenna but I can't access it. The same function applies to ships and stations, if I sit in a control seat and push the O it will also disable the transmission and reduce the power consumption. And that's also available as a checkbox in the control panel. And now we'll look at antenna ranges. So I'm here in a station on the lake bed. My antenna doesn't reach to the cliff top station. However, the cliff top antenna does reach me. So I can see it, but I can't access it. What I need to do is increase my antenna range so that they overlap and that way I can actually talk to it. And if this was a ship with a remote control I would be able to remotely pilot it. You can combine multiple antennas in series as long as their ranges are overlapping to use them as relay antennas. So I'll just drive this ATV outside the range of the clifftop antenna but I'm still in the range of the lake bed one. So now I can jump in, I can still see the cliff top because the light bed antenna is acting as a relay. And finally, laser antennas provide a point to point transmission over large distances. I'll cover them off more in depth in a separate 3 minute tutorial as we're out of time today. Thanks everybody for watching, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and can join me again next time.